Finally tonight, it's about time to wrap up another week here on Live at Five. But before we go, it's Esti and Lola <laughs> to the rescue. In fact, there are a number of rescues leading off this week's edition of the News Hounds. Esty wants you to meet Duke, a true hero. When a house fire broke out in Onalaska, this two-year-old black lab sprung into action, helping save the life of David Kumada. He was sleeping in the basement when Luke started jumping on him. David noticed the house was on fire. He and Luke bolted up the stairs just in time. The entire house burst into flames seconds later. Luke actually belongs to David's buddy who was visiting him for the week. Lucky for David, Luke the hero dog saved the day. A father and son fishing trip in Michigan turned into a bizarre but stunning rescue mission. Lola says, look here, you can see a baby deer struggling to swim in the waters of Lake Michigan. Dad grabbed the deer's head and held it above water before carefully lifting the deer onto the boat. Once near the shore, they released the deer who safely and happily swam to shore. Esty has yet another rescue, this time in Texas, where it is so dry the earth is literally cracking in two. Cracks big enough to trap a one-month-old puppy who fell into a hole. The ground is rock hard, shovels didn't help. They had to wet the ground down. And finally, another successful rescue and a very lucky puppy and a very grateful family reunited. Lola has the remarkable story of Willow the cat. She wandered away from home in Colorado during a home renovation. Willow turned up wandering the streets of East Harlem, New York, five years later. A good Samaritan brought Willow to animal control. She had a microchip and it contained up-to-date information about the whereabouts of her owner, where she's been and how she traveled 1,600 miles will remain a mystery, but her old family, three kids, mom, dad, and two dogs can't wait to see her again. A federally protected loggerhead turtle was rescued and released off the Florida Keys after recovering from a spear gunshot to its head. That's removed the spear, and she recovered about five weeks after surgery. The reptile has been named Sarah, after the daughter of the man who found it. Sarah is now on her way back home. All right, Sarah! Reaction, make sure you get reaction. And finally, the Guinness Book of World Records winner for the most dogs jumping on the same rope at the same time. Need we say more? Lola doesn't think so. And that's this week's edition of the News Hound. <laughs> I Look love at that. This. They're from Japan, these dogs. <laughs> That's my favorite video of the week. Good job, SD and Lola. And you can see it again. They'll have all the stories posted on their Facebook page, The News Hounds.